The actual invitation was October 4th, and my first time on snowboarding was end of November, so I got out after it pretty early. I kind of just made like a pact with myself that I wasn't going to be depressed, like what happened, happened. Nothing you can change about it then, so I'm just making the best of it. It's actually kind of motivating to get out there and show that I still can do that. Um, it's not taking anything away, it's not making anything harder, so it's kind of motivating and really makes me push myself a little bit harder to get out there, be active. It's been six years since we did that first interview. Since then, a lot has changed. Uh, I live in Portland now. I got married last year. Um, yeah, I'm no longer a student now working. So yeah, things have been good. My prosthesis has changed so much since my very first prosthesis I was fit with. Uh, the main thing I was looking for was I wanted to look like a hand. Like I kind of wanted to have it so if I wore a long sleeve shirt, it would cover up and I wasn't getting a lot of the questions from people. Um, now the hand I wear is completely different. So now it's a lot more of um, embracing that robotic look and kind of um, not being shy of it. Like showing people, yeah, I do have a prosthetic. I chose to go to Advanced Arm Dynamics because that they specialize in upper extremity. I just couldn't see any reason to go to someone who saw one, maybe no hands in an entire year. So I decided that their expertise and experience in that field was the smart decision. You know, anytime we uh, update the firmware, we want to make sure that there's no loss of power. The whole hand has closed 870,000 times. That's a lot. That's right. Yeah, that's a lot of use. Yeah. Uh, my attitude has completely changed, which has made all the reactions from people I talk to change as well. The hand has definitely become a huge part of me. Um, you can even see now, it's like I use it a lot in the talk. Um, I always have it out kind of up front and center, not on purpose, but because I'm using it, because I'm interacting with it in a, a more natural way than I was before. I think from getting that, from those initial stages of limb loss and that, that place you get in right as it first happens, I think time is a huge part of it because you can do all of these different things to kind of help yourself improve it, whether it's physically or mentally. But I think it does take a certain amount of time and interactions to not see yourself as diminished or as missing something, as like you are still who you were before. Like it's, it can't all be all right. <laughs> It's cheesy to say, but yeah, happiest time of my life was when we got married last year and ever since then. It's like having Sarah and like being able to like cook with her, walk the dogs together, just living in Portland and doing everything we do together. It's just, it's so amazing, yeah. We're always out. We have paddle boards that we really like to do. Um, I've recently picked up golfing a lot, fly fishing, um, up skiing. So yeah, we're always out like camping, hiking doing all sorts of different active things. I have more hobbies now than I did before I was missing my hand.